Seven is one of the best psychological thriller movies you will ever see. It is one of the finest piece of work from David Fincher's thriller movies. It is still date remembered as one of the most cruel climaxes of all time. A climax which showed no mercy at all to the characters and not at all to the audiences as well. The detective duo of Brad Pitt and Morgan Stanley's characters works very well on screen. The idea of a young hot-headed cop and a bit of subtle veteran kind of a cop who is about to retire works very well together. Now let's talk a bit about the director, David Fincher. David Fincher is now regarded as one of the best when it comes to directing psychological thriller movies. He now has to his portfolio movies like Zodiac, Gone Girl, Panic Room and Fight Club just to name a few. But back then when Seven released in 1995, he was not that known for making psychological thrillers. Perhaps this was the start of something great. Let's come back to the movie. Seven is a story of a criminal using seven deadly sins to commit murders one by one. There are seven deadly sins, Captain. Gluttony, greed, sloth, wrath, pride, lust, and envy. He also leaves clues that would lead the detective duo to the next murder site. Now, apart from the basic story, I wanted to highlight this particular thing. The world showed in Seven is a dark, criminally inclined and overall a place where you won't want to stay for long. The music in the movie complements the build up to a tension scene and this is quite the highlight of the movie as well. What's best about the movie? It is a kind of movie that would make you think, was the antagonist of the movie right? Was John Doe right? And yeah, also, the antagonist in the movie is far ahead of the detectives, though he is kind of defeated once when Mills and Somerset find out his home, but a John Doe still gets away. And this plays a very crucial plot point in the end as well. You know what I mean. The final drive scene into the desert is so well crafted along with the music to build up tension. The apartment chase scene is no different than this. Fincher also uses the environment to show how the characters feel. For example, in most of David Fincher movies, we can see rain. Now rain shown in a movie adds a bit of uneasiness to the scene and to the audience as well. A lot of scenes in Seven also include rain, dark rooms which built up a lot of tension in a scene. To sum up, Fincher uses the environment, music and a nice build up to a scene to create tension which is necessary in a psychological thriller. So that's it about the first episode of Cinema Revisited. Now go down in the comments and tell me which movie should I watch next and make a video just like this. And also tell me in the comments what you think about this particular video and what you think about the directorial style of David Fincher. Until we meet next time, this is Atharva from Peaky Insights, a place where you get insightful and fun videos just like this on your favorite TV shows and movies. So thank you so much for watching.